Today I'm going to be showing off 6 hours new P938 Nightmare. The 938 Nightmare just started shipping. We received the first delivery today. I'm going to be comparing the Nightmare and some of its features with the 238, which is very well known, and Kimber's Solo. Uh, Kimber has three models of the Solo, and I've got two of those three models here. Um, two models are identical with the exception of the finish. Uh, that's the standard Solo in two-tone and the Solo Stainless. The Solo CDP, uh, the SIG 238 I'm showing is an Equinox, and that pretty well represents the 238 line. Um, so first things first, I'm just going to show the weapons. They're clear, and we're going to kind of take the extras off, off camera for a minute. I'm going to focus primarily first with the Nightmare. The Nightmare is the first of the 938s to ship. So you have roughly four other models that are scheduled for production. Uh, estimated ship delivery dates are, are really pretty loose right now. We don't know for sure what we'll see and when. The 938 uh, out of the box has an ambi safety. The standard SIG P238s that have shipped up to this year have had single-sided safety just on the left side. Now the 230 Equinox that I have available today is the Equinox with the ambi safety. Uh, however, the standard Equinox and, and for the most part the standard 238 models have all traditionally had just left-sided safeties, not the ambi. Looking at the 938, it does have front strap checkering and back strap checkering. Um, it has the G10 grips. These are um, I believe made by Hogue and uh, they're comparable to some of the grips on the 238. Because the 9mm is a you know a, a longer bullet, um, the grip and magazine well is a little bit longer on the 938 than 238, which you can kind of see here. 938 does have pretty prominent night sights. They're virtually identical to those on the 238. Let's see if I can get it in closer, you can see it. Overall thickness, I believe, if uh, I remember the spec correctly, is the same. However, the, the uh, barrel and slider are just a little bit longer. Overall height, if I remember correctly, is, is almost identical between the two. One thing I do notice, which is hard to show on video, but um, the takedown slide stop pin on the 238 is just slightly more pronounced and uh, a little bit easier to, to press on the 238 versus the 938. Um, it may be just may be related to internal design or there, there may be another reason for that. Uh, looking at the P938 and its safety, um, and we're going to compare that to the Solo, you'll notice that the 938 does have a more pronounced safety. If I can get it close enough to where it's visible on camera. Um, the Solo safety engages much more easily. The 938 does require more pressure. However, I think that because the 938 has a more pronounced safety, disengaging it is easier. On the, the Solo, you really have to, um, you have to really kind of bring your hand up and, and catch it. You have to pay more attention that you're actually catching the safety on the Solo than the 938. For comparison, now I'm going to show the difference in front strap checkering on the 938 versus the Solo. 938 has what I believe is 30 lines per inch front strap checkering. So I can bring that in and show it. The front and rear. The standard Solo in two-tone and stainless both have just a smooth front and back strap. There's no checkering. The Solo CDP does have front strap checkering, back strap checkering. However, the Crimson Trace laser grip covers roughly 50% of the front strap checkering, um, really reducing the effectiveness on it on the Solo CDP. Trigger on the P938 is single action only. On the Kimber Solo, it's a striker fire trigger. The trigger pull is definitely longer, and it's more noticeably longer on the Solo than it is on the P938. Uh, the 238 and the 938 both have virtually identical triggers. The the, the trigger pull length and trigger pull weight is very comparable and uh, feels identical between the 938 and the 238. 
the 930 has roughly a seven to eight pound trigger and I believe Kimber's spec on the solo also calls uh, for a roughly seven to eight pounds of trigger pull however the length of pull on the solo is, is definitely greater than it is on the 238 or 938. One more feature I just want to point out or at least an observation both the solo and the 938 have an external extractor the P238 does have an internal extractor. The top two are both P238 mags. This is the six round and seven round. This is the P938 mag, which is a six round mag. Kimber Solo's six round mag, and then the Kimber Solo eight round mag. The two 238 magazines do have the most recent design on the follower. I think these are still considered third gen on the follower. Um, extended mag has a dull finish. The six round mag has the shiny finish. I think that the difference is just suppliers. We've seen intermittent shipments where the seven round mags come with the dull or shiny finish and, and they've kind of been intermixed. So they're not you know, switching production from the one finish to the other. Uh, I think it's just different sourcing on the uh, supply side. You'll notice on the six round mag it does have the, the visible seam or weld up the back of the mag and the seven round mag is not designed quite the same way so it doesn't have that feature. This is the uh, P938 mag and like the uh, standard six round mag for the 238 it's very similar, it's got the weld up the back. Floor plate is welded, so it's not removable. Kimber's magazine is a little bit better in overall quality. It's got a removable floor plate, there's no visible weld, and uh, the mags are marked showing the capacity. The follower is different between the two. Six followers on the 238 used to look pretty similar to the one Kimber has, but they've switched over so that the follower has a um, ramp in the front and the lip is less pronounced. And then Kimber's seven round solo mag has a rather large extension at the bottom. Um, sorry, eight round, not seven. Uh, same follower, and um, it is marked showing eight round capacity. It's a little more clunky than SIG's mag for the 238. SIG's mag has the X-Grip adapter, and the X-Grip adapter is contoured for your pinky. Kimber's mag has a much less noticeable contour. And it locks in, but it's not as noticeable as it is when you lock a mag in the 238. solo it, it it locks in place but it's not as pronounced of a sound when it's locking in it kind of makes you question if it's actually locked in there or not and side by side seven seven round mag versus the eight on the solo it's quite a bit larger 238 mag is more streamlined and the extended magazine that's supposed to be shipping for the 938 will look very much like this one for the 238. It's going to have a contoured X grip adapter and it'll be a lower profile than the Kimber mag. So if you want to carry it concealed and, and have seven rounds in the mag, um, it, won't, it won't be as prominent as Kimber's eight round, which is taller and bulkier. Kimber has a list of specifically recommended uh, brands and caliber or brands and uh, bullet types uh, they do recommend at least 124 grain uh, and they typically prefer a jacketed hollow point from from my recollection um, I haven't had the opportunity to shoot the 938 yet however SIG has pretty well assured us that the 938 will eat about any kind of ammo you can you can push through it one final note is uh, production and availability when Kimber launched the solo last year um, they really represented the production capabilities to be pretty high. Uh, they took 
lots of large orders and were almost immediately unable to, to fill the majority of those orders. Even today, we're still waiting on delivery of orders we placed last January. So, in general, the rollout of the Solo has not been smooth. For the 938, SIG has more or less promised greater availability and uh, we expect that production and deliveries will be much more uh, aggressive with the 938 versus what we saw with the Solo. Uh, if SIG really wants to set the bar, I think they do need to try to push out a lot of numbers of these. That way they, they, they can effectively compete against the Solo. There's still a lot of customers who are on waiting lists for the Solo and um, it's very probable that once these 938s really start making their way out into the wild, uh, a lot of customers will drop solo orders and switch over to the 938.